Hi and welcome. Today's game is between, um, I've practiced this, um, Grandmaster um, Pragnahaha, Pragnahaha um, Ramish Babu, um, who is black. Uh, versus Candidate Master who has actually got an International Masters norm in January in India. Um, now I haven't practiced his name but he's uh, an up and coming prodigy if I can still call um, this age a prodigy. He's now uh, born in 2006 so he's um, 13, 12, 13 years old. I don't know his birth date. Um, his name is Candidate Master. Uh, it's either Mittal, Mittal Aditya, Aditya Mittal. Uh, he's playing the great grandmaster from India as well. Uh, and so this is a blitz game. So let's get into it. All right, here we go. It's a Chigurin defense, which um, everyone will be able to recognize what a Chigurin is very shortly. And here comes the, the typical, a uh, typical classic knight c6, which is denoted as the Chigurin. Um, have I actually got that wording right, Chigurin? Uh, it might be Chigurin or something like that. Oh dear. I'm not going to break up, but it could be Chigurin, I think it is actually. Bishop b4, because the Queen's attacked, of course, so... Bishop d2 renews the threat on the queen, so black has to do something about it, so takes the knight. Bishop takes, and here comes ed4, ed4 uh, 92. So one would expect ed4 here, but here comes 92. And so what does black do now? Black now cannot play this, of course, because of queen takes queen, or this is no good. And d3 is not very good either, because black could, uh, white could just look at um, bishop g7, new variation, bishop g7, and this pawn is no good to take on d e2, because of just queen d5. And white remains a whole lot of material up. So black has to be very careful here. So black actually plays what are you what would you play? Bishop g4. And um, this is looking like f3 is a very good move. So white plays f3. Now what would you play? Bishop back. Bishop here, not here because they're e4, maybe. Um, bishop here. But the thing is, is um, blacks actually attacked with their piece on pre, on g4, but so is white's bishop on c3 attacked. So uh, Prague now plays bishop f3, gf3, queen f3. And then we have this surprising move, knight d4. Uh, and queen h1. And now knight c6, which threatens bishop g7. And so um, now comes knight f6, bishop f6, g f6. Uh, and knight d4. And here, what would you play here for black? Ramish Babu plays here long castling and this might entertain the threat of this but not really because the queen can just pin the pawn and the knight can move away. So about the buzzer. So queen f3 a wee bit surprising 
and here obviously um, black is offered a queen swap which looks like white would probably um, black would probably want that but um, no he plays queen h2 and now what would you play for white would you play bishop f1 to g2 threatening a few checks and nasty checks at that or something else because that looks quite good quite handy to um, white's position uh, we will have a look at bishop g2 and we'll turn the computer on will we no we won't because um, I haven't saved this game so here's um, long castling uh, and here's long castling back so white now castles on the queen side which is the only side they can castle so the king is now on the queen side not on the king side the queen queen is on the king side the king is on the queen side now um, now Prague plays a sort of a sensible move but also defending and that sort of thing um, he plays his queen somewhere where would you play your queen if you're black so we're not going to play moves like here because they're not very good uh, even though we can maybe double up or something that's not the greatest move according to me Prague throws his queen onto e5 now the the um, queen is nicely centralized of course so it can um, be more active in the center and I think here is um, bishop g2 now and then we have c6 now it looks like when you look at this on the video which is um, via rapid chess um, uh, rapid chess um, site on YouTube that I've got this game from um, it looks like c6 and some things might be able to happen like knight c6 is no good even though it looks alright um, due to not only rook d1 I've got my phone going off there but b c6 queen c6 and now not king here as queen b7 is checkmate for white but here queen c7 and now regardless of even if the bishop checks here um, the king just moves here and the queen is defended by the king on b8 or c8 and the queen has no option but to, you know it's pinned to the king on c1 so there's going to be a queen sup Sh um, shocking surprise um, uh, <laughs> there's going to be a queen swap here very shortly so um, the knight c6 is futile for white now a wee bit surprised of this move because I wasn't really counting the pieces to be honest is the next move white plays is queen f5 check and Prague doesn't um, take here but plays merely king b8 and then queen e5 knight f5 and now um, whether it be right or wrong um, now what black plays rook d1 to swap a pair of rooks king d1 and now comes what rook d8 check possibly or something else what else here comes rook g8 and that's just attacking the bishop of course so the bishop comes to e4 so these pieces here the bishop and the knight and the pawn are sort of well coordinated but white has got issues with this pawn and eventually maybe some others so white has an issue of having to defend this in blitz um, in three minutes I believe two seconds increments plays rook g4 and so white has to be careful white does not want to play bishop here 
because then rook g1 is um, winning for black because black gains major material. White plays bishop f3 and Prague I believe plays rook g1 and here's king d2 and now I think rook f1 yes good and now bishop e4 and then rook f2 and king c3 and h5 I think so this is quite this is quite interesting isn't it because white looks like they're doing all right except for what I've said already this h pawn is an outside pass pawn against the bishop and knight which generally one would expect to be better I think after h5 came on me um, knight h4 this is interesting this because um, it's not really um, it, it's sort of wasting time a little bit it looks like but it might have a reason for playing it he is an international masters norm now too as well as a candidate master this young player which is really really awesome um, king c7 is Prague's move here and here comes the knight f5 again so um, maybe um, white made a bit of a, a boo-boo there so king d7 so his king's just moving closer into the um, center and here's a4 and rook h2 which just uh, primarily as far as I'm concerned um, asks h4 to be played next if it can be so here's knight h6 oh no b4 and h4 and knight h6 I was one move early and rook e2 knight king d3 and rook b2 now should white just play king c3 now and sort of repeat moves maybe but I'm not completely sure I haven't seen what I'm going to turn the engine on just for one second yes the computer um, asks to play that move knight f7 taking the pawn and here's king e6 and knight d8 king f6 knight b7 rook b4 knight c bishop c6 um, Is it h3 yes and here comes knight c5 and uh is it rook c b6 or or rook b2 or something i'm seeming to think that um h2 which just threatens rook here of course bishop f3 and now if rook b1 then white has time to play knight e4 check and um, knight e4 check and knight g3 defending h1 square so here's king f5 now sad for white would be e4 in my opinion because that would just allow a win very shortly thereafter if e4 I believe the move would be king f4 and here we have rook here which would be uh, decisive in my opinion so here we have a5 and so here comes rook b5 picking up this a pawn which is very important because now uh, black has two pawns for um, the two piece sort of against the rook um, so it's getting really really quite comfortable for black because these are both past pawns now so here we go let's get into this knight g3 and then i think we've just got king g5 and it's just 
going to hop into h4 this king knight f1 and we defend with rook a2 he does and king e4 and rook f2 and now this makes knight g3 happen and king h4 as promised now if something careless like knight f5 check then black merely plays king h3 and this move is threatened very quickly indeed as queen h1 would follow subject to black, um, white's move so knight h1 happens uh, so now it looks kind of bulletproof until a um, rook f1 bishop g2 rook g1 king f3 and now we could play e4 here but it's not what happens is a5 so here comes this menacing a pawn for white to now deal with i think white plays knight g, uh, king f2 a4 knight g3 and we can just about look at taking this bishop or playing h1 now or something like that for um black but black just plays a3 and soon hereafter over and knight f5 and back to g5 to attack the knight and the knight goes back here and here a2 and white resigned that is the end of the session hope you enjoyed this game it's certainly a, a wee nice game to look at isn't it just an end game with uh rook versus um two pieces in that with two pawns up